moment to locate the exit nearest you. Keep in mind it may be located behind you. We should lose electrical power, emergency floor light, and we'll direct you to all exits. Your seat cushion may be used for flotation to use the one rear of the cushion. Place your hands under the straps and hold the cushion close to your chest as you take your information card to look straight. At this time, please check that your seat belts are securely fastened. We ask you to observe the seat belt sign whenever you feel needed. Plus, our attendees keep their seat belts fastened whenever you're seated during the flight. A 29-year-old stewardess fell to her death tonight when she was swept through an emergency door that suddenly sprang open. The body was found three hours after the accident. beginning to be something that no one has ever been and lived through. Screaming without enough air, still neat, lipstick, stocking, girdled by regulation, her hat still on, her arms and legs in no world, and yet spaced also strangely with autoplastic brightness on thin air. Taking her time, she holds it in many places, and now, Still thousands of feet from her death, she seems to slow. slow. She develops interest. She turns in her maneuverable body to watch it. into another heavy silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element.
swirling, the air beast crooning to her, scale the roaming silver, but dream of being drawn, the glitter of water catches the moon by one shake of side. Catches the moon by its one shake of side, scaled roaming silver. Who knows from what correct young woman must take up her body and fly? Marvelous leap, a long stoop, a hurtling. What correct young woman must take up her body and fly? gymnastics, shining new powers. There is still time to live on a breath made of nothing but the whole night. A marvelous leap, a long stoop, a hurtling, fashionably swirling, the air beast crooning to her. She has this flying skin made of garments, a thin human wing spread out from her neat shoulders.
hold, hold out for water. If she fell into water, she might live like a diver, the glitter of water. There is water. There they are. There are the waters of life, the moon packed and coiled in a reservoir. There is time to perfect all the fine points of diving, feet together, toes pointed, hands shaped right to insert her into water like a needle, to come out healthily dripping and be handed a Coca-Cola. Hold, hold out for water. Who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly? If she fell into water, she might live like a diver. If she fell into water, she might live like a diver. Perfect, plunge into another heavy, silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element. Let her now take off her hat in summer air, the contour of cornfields, and have enough time to kick off her one remaining shoe with the toes of the other foot. To unhook her stockings with calm fingers, noting how fatally easy it is to undress in midair. She sheds the jacket with its silver sad impotent wings, sheds the bat's guiding tailpiece of her skirt, the lightning charge and clinking of her blouse, the intimate inner flying garment of her slip in which she rides like the holy ghost of a virgin, sheds the long wind socks of her stockings, absurd brassiere, then feels the girdle required by regulations squirming off her. She feels the girdle flutter, shake in her hand and float, upward, upward, warmly, Dancing, sleeping, slant, slide off tumbling, her clothes rising off her ascending into cloud, her hair shot loose from all pins, streaming in the wind of her body. Who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly? Who knows when what correct young woman must take up her body and fly? Nine farms hover close, widen. Eight of them separate, leaving one in the middle. Then the fields of that farm do the same.
dreaming of female signs of the moon. The last slow, careful passing of her hands all over her unharmed body, desired by every sleeper in his dream. plants have sucked it down. There are standing toward her only the common fields of death. She comes back from flying to falling, returns to a powerful car. The silent scream with which she blew down the coupled door of the airline, nearly, nearly losing hold of what she has done. Remember, remember the shape of the hard cloud, fashionably swirling. The greatest thing that ever came to Kansas. Screaming without enough air, still neat, lipstick, stocking, girdled by regulation, her hat still on, the greatest thing that ever came in the world, and yet spaced also strangely with utter placid rights on thin air.
interrupted her maiden flight, told her how to lie. Lies in the fields, as though on a cloud she cannot drop through. Down from all heights, all levels of American breath, layered in the lungs, from the frail chill of space to the loam where extinction slumbers in corn tassels, thickly. Feels herself go, go toward, go outward, breathes at last fully, not, and tries, left, once, tries to slow. The greatest thing that ever came to Kansas. While farmers sleepwalk without their women from houses, a walk like falling toward the far waters of life in moonlight, toward the dreamed eternal meaning of their farms, toward the flowering of the harvest in their hands. Perfect, that tragic Plunge cost. into another heavy, silver, unbreathable, slowing, saving element. <laughs>